It's always a great day when we get to see our friend Nathan McCartney from Arctic Food Equipment. Now, we did see you Sunday at a that's Christmas true. party. That's so, true. twice in one week is even better. No, that's very And rare. your beautiful wife. Yeah, she's, Sorry. she's yeah. much she's better gorgeous. to hang out with than me. She's so fun. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. was very funny because Nathan walked in and <laughs> Lee was right there, but I was like, where's she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> I know, and then, you, and then you just talk to her, which is then fine. Yeah. That's, I would, she's I lovely. for that, too. So. You, you really, uh, what's it called? Uh, you. You, you married up? Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, it, you know, the way, I, the way I originally met her was uh, taking her to a military ball. So the first question she asked is, are you going to wear your uniform? I'm like, well, of course. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, that definitely helps. That helped a lot. So yeah. Helps. <laughs> and also, helps. you help when service items go down. You, That's right. That's true. You repair them. You yeah, provide yeah. your customers with excellent customer service. Yeah. So as we're, as we're getting to the end of the year, you know, a lot of times we, we try and get people to think ahead and, and we'd like to get in front of problems before they happen. That's what Arctic tries to do, solve your problems. Uh, and so now's a good time to start thinking about preventative maintenance mm -hmm. uh, and getting on our schedule for that. Uh, you're maybe a little too late to have done it before your heat came on. Yeah. <laughs> Since yeah. Winter has apparently arrived. Uh, yeah. Although the last two days have been beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but yeah, the, the winter is coming and uh, it's time to start thinking ahead of, of what might break down. Uh, and just a good reminder that Arctic does service side too. I know we're often on here demonstrating some of the cool stuff we sell and uh, having some of our restaurant customers come in and, and make their food. But also we fix a lot of stuff too. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We do everything in a restaurant kitchen. So um, we, as, as things are getting tougher and you might not have the money to buy a new piece of equipment, it's important that you remember to Keep take it. care of what yes. you've got. Uh, and then if it does happen to break, we can also fix it. But well, especially on the commercial side, you're using that equipment every day, all yeah. day long. Yes. Things are going to happen. Is there anything people should be looking for as they're using it yeah. or like a sign maybe? Yeah, so a lot of our, a lot of our preventative maintenance tries to head that off because, I mean, there's really nothing worse than your fryer or your oven going down on a Friday. You know, oh, you my gotta, gosh. you got to make your money on the weekends, on that Friday night crush. And if it's down unexpectedly, that's a very expensive outage so we ha always encourage customers to do the preventive maintenance schedule we're coming in four times a year or sometimes two times a year depending on the equipment uh, we check out the fans and the motors check for the, the electrical connections make sure it's clean that's a really important thing in a restaurant there's, there's just so much dirt and grime in a restaurant kitchen they clean but those air filters are working overtime so we're always trying to get in front of that so that we can catch a problem potentially before it happens. Mm -hmm. uh, or if we're already there and we find other problems, you don't have to pay us to come back. You know, it's, it's yeah. just a way to save a lot of money and get in front of it. But most importantly, stay open for your customers because there's yeah. nothing worse than you're like, sorry, we're out of ice. Right. <laughs> uh, like, oh. By well, the way, he did teach me. You taught me how to clean my ice machine properly. So thank oh, you for yeah. that. I yeah. need that lesson. Yes, yeah, so that's, thank a, that's I didn't important. Know we had to and, clean and the health departments for the restaurants are really starting to check that kind of stuff. Yeah. So that's another thing that we, oh. we help keep in front of. Um, and, and can help, again, That's save important. you money and, and prevent problems that are going to yeah. take your restaurant. Money, down. time, headache, right. stress. Right. You don't want that this time of year. Yeah, we've got a great new crew, uh, oh. so we're, our, our speeds are a lot faster on that preventative maintenance and stuff. We've, we've hired a couple of really great technicians that are doing oh, a good, good job on that, mm -hmm. so we can, we can accommodate more customers mm -hmm. as well, which is also a, a good thing. That's awesome. So. What would you say is your average turnaround time if someone's like, oh, my ice machine's broken, it is Friday, yeah. I've got the rush coming in? So we have a, we have a priority list. Uh, a walk-in of any kind is like number one. We try and get there within hours because mm -hmm. there's a lot of food in there and that's a lot of money yeah. uh, but ice machines are actually a fairly high priority too not just for the food preservation but I mean we're Americans we like ice yeah you know? <laughs> we like ice <laughs> in our drinks and so it's a fairly high priority usually it, it'd be the same day um, some of our other stuff the lower priority is two to three days out okay. uh, and so again that's why being on our maintenance schedule is good because if we're there fixing you know working on your ice machine getting it ready to go but you say my mixer is down. Can you take a look at it? Now we're we're on site. So you've saved you saved both the drive expense, the truck charge, and then also uh, we're there. So you don't have to mm -hmm. wait two or three days. We're already there. That's awesome. So if someone's like, "Hey, you fixed this," but I also noticed this, you're willing to be like, "Okay, yeah. we're yeah, that's, here." That's the Let's... advantage of of that because you know we're going to be in there at least every right. couple of months. So. Nathan, what's the process? Let's say we've had a lot of your great businesses on that you've helped set up. Yeah. But let's say there's a business that you didn't really set up, but they need the maintenance. What's sure. the process like for them who maybe haven't worked with you before, yeah. but they, they want you, they see you on the show, they know you're great quality. Yeah. How you, do they get your assistance? You can call in. Uh, our dispatcher, Amy, is happy to take your call, 417-888-0100, uh, um, and just say, hey, I'd like to get on the maintenance schedule. Uh, usually we'll ask a few questions like, which equipment do you want? What, what type of cooking are you doing? Right. Do you want us to look at the ovens and the stoves or just the refrigeration? Do you want us to do air conditioning too? Because we can... 
We can make sure your heat is working as well. Mm -hmm. So we kind of ask those types of questions. How many units? Uh, if it's a big place, I know we've done some of the schools and institutions and stuff like that. Like we, my general manager or I or somebody will go in and we'll take a checklist and like, okay, this is a, here's an estimate or a bid of some kind. Yeah. Uh, but for most restaurants, it's just call in and kind of talk through it and then we'll um, get you on the schedule and, and kind of let you know the pricing before. Yeah, I just didn't want the, so. if you're watching and you hadn't set up your restaurant already with them, you yeah. can still utilize them and their right. services, which is great. And once yeah. you get to know them, you're not going to want to go anywhere else yeah. because you'll love them, their technicians, and your whole business like a family. They're the nicest people. I have <laughs> shopped there. I have done segments there. Yep. Seriously, it, it is a great place to go in and visit, ask questions, and you're yeah. happy to answer them. And we're coming up on 30 years. That's wow. been, that started in April of 30, uh, 94, so we're coming up on 30 years. So wow. April 2024. Yeah. Yes, we're looking forward to our birthday coming up. So, I'm uh, so we got to celebrate. Let's get a cake. we got to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. okay, if people want more information about everything you do yeah. from buying the equipment too, you can still buy. Yeah, we've got equipment. great salespeople to help. So. And the service department and even just regular average Joes like me coming in to get yeah. dishes because I've done that before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're at uh, 1501 South Enterprise or uh, arcticfoodinc.com and of course you can call us at 888-0100. So. Right. And Kirk Kendrick works Thank there you. too and he's awesome. That's yes, true. he does. <laughs> he's still sticking around with that mustache. <laughs> Thanks so much. Good to see you. Good to Give see your you. wife a big hug for us. Definitely. Mm -hmm. we'll do. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. Coming up, we have a preview of the Springfield Ballet's upcoming production of The Nutcracker right after this. It's like, yeah.